Hey guys, it's Game Ramer here. So today I have a random thrift store pickup video for you, along with some bonus items that I actually scored from a coworker of mine. So let's go ahead and check these out. So some of these items I actually scored for some pretty amazing deals and some of these items I have never seen before and I am just shocked that my coworker was able to give these to me and these are just look great once they get cleaned up. I have to go ahead and try and whiten some of the items as they are pretty old. So I'm just really looking forward to getting these up and running, getting them on display somewhere in the collection and try and get some use out of them. So first we'll check out some of my thrift store finds. So these are some pretty new games. So these are all for the PlayStation 4. These were all scored for just a couple dollars each. And some of these are pretty awesome and pretty fun games. I have played a lot of these and I just needed some of these for the collection. So for a few dollars each, I couldn't pass up that deal. So of course we have this Uncharted game. This is Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. I highly recommend this series. These are all so much fun. I believe I have most of these games. I probably have them on the PlayStation 3 as I have tons of these collector's edition games. And some of these, I think I actually have the download only version of the games. So I had to add this physical disc for the collection. So this one, just a couple dollars, is such a great deal as it includes a lot of games in one. Then we have some Call of Duty. We have this Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now a lot of people didn't really like this game. This one kind of had that weird Halo style game feel to it. So this one is one that's not a fan favorite among people who enjoy playing Call of Duty games. I actually didn't mind it. It was a different spin on it than what I'm used to though. And then on to some Black Ops 3. We have another Call of Duty game. This one was actually a pretty fun game to play. And this also includes some bonus items along. So I'm not sure if some of these have been used, but just for a couple dollars each. Definitely could not pass that up. And then we have this Resident Evil 5 game. So this includes Lost in Nightmares, Desperate Escape, Four New Costumes, The Mercenaries United Versus, Extra Figures, No Mercy Mode. So this comes with a lot of DLC. Once again, I'm not sure if a lot of this is actually used already but some of these are just great deals on the games we have this battlefield one copy of the game which is a game that i never really got into and then of course we have this uncharted 4 this is a thief's end so i'm not sure i actually played this newest one of uncharted but i do love the series thus far and i'm really looking forward to trying out this game and then of course we have this title right here, which didn't do very well. This was not what I expected. I didn't really play this game. This is Star Wars Battlefront. And this one is a very inexpensive game already, but it came with the whole set of games. And then we have some Grand Theft Auto 5. So this one is pretty sweet as it comes with this instruction booklet. which you don't generally see anymore in a lot of the newer games. And it even comes with this map, so I had to add this to the collection. So I don't believe I even had this game for the PlayStation 4. So this is just really cool that it comes with this map, as all of the older style games also come with maps. So anytime I find those games with them, I try and pick them up. So of course we have this pretty awesome map of where you go in the game and this is just really cool and then of course we have another area on the back side so that's pretty awesome that still has the map included and that is just pretty sweet and this is such a great game i really had a lot of fun with it when i used to play it online so this is a great one to add to the collection 
And then on to some more games. I actually picked all of these up at a local thrift store near me. They have most of their items for about a dollar or so. Sometimes you get lucky and you get half off. So these are what I've accumulated over the past week. And some of these games are more so common games. And I even picked up some DVDs. So I was pretty excited about that. So of course I found this Xbox 360 game. This is Sonic Free Riders, and this is for the Kinect, so it requires the Kinect sensor. Now I remember playing a lot of these Sonic Rider style games back on the GameCube. They had one of those games, and I'm not exactly sure how this one plays, but it's one that I did not have in the collection, and for less than a dollar I had to pick it up. It says, crouch and jump to pull huge airs, ride boards, bikes, jet skis, and even a minecart. Take out competitors with crazy weapons and jump into the race. So this one actually looks like a lot of fun and it's in very great shape with everything included. So I had to score it. And then they also have this one as well. So here we have the Sonic Riders game. I believe this is the one that I played growing up. So this one is for the PlayStation 2, and this is the 15th anniversary of Sonic the Hedgehog, and this was back in 2006. Sonic takes on Dr. Eggman's call for the fastest air rider at the World Grand Prix, compete against new rivals, the Babylon Rogues, as you pull off insane tricks and catch massive air. Think you got what it takes? So this actually looks like a really fun game. This one was still complete at the thrift store. Usually I have a lot of bad luck when it comes to that. And the game disc will always be missing. This one's in pretty decent shape. So this should still play. And it even comes with this manual. Which is just an added bonus. So this one will look great in the collection. And I'm actually looking forward to trying this game out again. And then on to this PC game. So this is made by 2K Games. This is, of course, Sid Meier's Pirates Live the Life. So you guys may remember this game. Sid Meier always had these great and fun style games. And, of course, you may even recognize the name from the new Civilization game on the Nintendo Switch. So I also picked that one up and added that one to the collection not long ago. But I remember playing this back in the day at a friend's house on the computer. So the second that I saw this for only a dollar, and it comes with all of these pretty awesome items in here. The seal is only broken on the one side, but it comes with so much bonus items in here. So here we have this PC game in this little sleeve. There's a couple discs in here. They're both in very good shape, and this is just really cool. Then along with that, it comes with this little treasure map. So I really like when games come with all of these extras. So I never pass up on that. So here we have this treasure map. And of course it has a pirate ship and everything on here. This is actually really cool. And then we even have... This little registration card and then we have this really cool guidebook right here so this is actually really thick and it has a lot of information about the gameplay and everything in here so they definitely don't make these instruction manuals like this anymore and this has so much information so this is really cool that I found this complete and I found it for about a dollar or a little bit less. And then on to this last stack right here. We actually have one more game in this bundle. So this was less than a dollar as well. And this is NCAA Football 12. So this one is one that actually went up just a little bit in price. So you're looking at over a $10 to $15 game. Which is definitely pretty crazy because a lot of these older style games usually lose their value. But this one, for some reason, with everything going on, has jumped up just a little bit. So this one is one that you actually want to look out for and anything that's newer than this one. As NCAA Football 14 has actually skyrocketed in price, 
that's about a $150 game. So you always want to keep a lookout now, especially for some of these sports titles, is some just keep going up in price. So because that one is so expensive, some of the ones that are a little bit before it have actually went up in price too. Not nearly as much, but it's just something to be mindful of. And of course, I have not found one out in the wild just yet, but I don't want to give up just yet. And then on to the stack of DVDs. I actually scored these all for less than a dollar each as well. So first up, we have this Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie. Only they can save our planet from evil. So I loved watching these back in the day. I had so much fun every morning and on the weekends watching Power Rangers. I'd watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and just everything else. I love these movies. So the second that I saw this DVD for less than a dollar, I had to score it. Is This is from 1995 and I just want to watch it over again and see if I actually recognize everything. As I remember having so much fun watching these and this even says you ooze, you lose. Power up with six incredible teens who outmaneuver and defeat evil wherever as the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. But this time the Power Rangers may have met their match when they face off with the most sinister monster the galaxy has ever seen, Ivan Ooze. So this is pretty awesome that I found it. And then on to another Power Rangers movie. We actually have this Turbo, a Power Rangers movie. So this one has some other newer style Power Rangers in it. This is from 1997. So I figured I would add this one as well. A high spirited fantasy adventure. It's the Power Rangers to the rescue as they race to save the planet Earth from certain destruction at the hands of a ruthless band of evil space aliens. So this one is also pretty cool. And then on to some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies. So of course I had to score these ones right here. This is the original movie. And then we have the second one. So this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This one was less than a dollar each. It says, now you can catch America's favorite green teens in their first live action blockbuster film after waiting in a puddle of radioactive waste, these radical reptiles are transformed into New York City's greatest crime fighting quartet. So this is pretty awesome. And this comes with some animated menus as well. So this is one that I was really excited. And it even comes with this piece of paper on the inside that has all of the scene selects on it. So this is definitely pretty sweet to add to the collection. And then of course we found this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze. So I've been wanting to go back and actually watch some of these movies. And then of course we have another scene select guide on here. So this will be a lot of fun and definitely bring back so many memories. As the last time I actually saw these were on VHS. So I'm really excited to watch these on DVD. And then I had to add this one because it was with the others. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. This one is a more recent film compared to the originals. This one's from 2016. So of course it has that newer style Nickelodeon style turtle. Of course I always love the original turtles. But when I opened up this one it actually came with these little headbands in here. So I couldn't pass it up as they all look brand new in here and we have all of the different colors. So this is definitely pretty sweet. So I had to add this one as well. So it looks like you can pick or choose each side is a different color. These actually don't look like they've ever been used or anything either so that's definitely a bonus. So I'm pretty excited to add these to the collection because I haven't seen this movie before and figured I'd try it out especially since it came with all of this extra stuff too. Now on to this last box of goodies right here. So I actually scored this entire box from a co-worker of mine. And I'm actually really excited because these are some vintage items. These are definitely a lot older. So first of all, I actually got this command control controller. 
So this is pretty awesome. It has a button right here. And of course it has this little ball. So this is definitely pretty sweet and it's the same exact brand as this company right here. Here's another command control. This is the joystick and this is complete in this box. This will actually look really great on display in the collection and you can use it with the Atari home video game, Sears arcade game, Atari 400 and 800 home computers and the Commodore VIC-20 home computer. So this is definitely pretty sweet. So these are both from the same company right here and of course they're different style controllers. So these are pretty sweet that he still had these and had them kept in pretty great condition. And then on to some electronic handhelds. So these are some classics right here. Of course they need to be cleaned up a little bit and some of them definitely have some yellowing and stuff going on. But they actually work because he included some batteries in here as well. So this one, even though it has some tape on the box here, it's still in pretty good shape. So this is the electronic soccer game. This is the handheld electronic game. And right here it says computer controlled LED lights and sounds indicate ball movement, kick, goal, ball intercepted, digital scoring, and an automatic timer. So of course back in the day these were all the rage. This is from 1979 and this is just crazy because you can actually play two player on this. So this one still works and this is definitely pretty sweet because it has this two sided right here with these arrows you have these buttons to kick and then you have this little field right here and then it has score and it points to each side so this is pretty awesome then of course on here it has this metal little plate that says 1979 as well and then on to some other handhelds we actually have this Mattel Electronics and this is basketball, which I actually enjoyed playing this. I tested it out along with everything else, but this one I actually had a lot of fun playing with. And this is from Mattel Incorporated and this is from 1978. So of course this one just needs a little bit cleaned up. I'm shocked that it's not a lot more yellow. And it says if game malfunctions, try a fresh battery. So that is pretty sweet. Doesn't look like there's any battery corrosion or anything on here. And this was actually a pretty fun game that actually kept me entertained for a little while. And then on to this one right here. So this one has a little bit of wear on this back label. This one desperately needs a good cleaning. But this one does work and this is actually in pretty good shape right here. All of the front side. It just definitely has this different color to it. It looks like it has some yellow or more like brown on here. This is Coleco and this is one that's a little bit older as well. Doesn't look like there's any battery corrosion or anything though. So this is a game that'll definitely look great along with the others. So here we have this Coleco electronic quarterback. And then up next we have this NFL deluxe electronic football. Right here has this NFL sticker. It says two door games has this NFL field right here with time, skill level, ball on, down, yards to go, home, quarter, visitor. Has all of these different buttons on here as well. This one actually works and this one takes a lot of batteries in here. Just four of them. And then it's pretty cool because on the back here it even says if you would like another copy of the NFL Deluxe Electronic Football Official Rules Booklet send one dollar to cover postage and handling to Tudor Games and that's in Brooklyn, New York. So this one's pretty neat as well. Of course there's tons of batteries in this box and I'm just so excited that I was able to score all of these from a buddy of mine, a co-worker, and this is just really great. As some of these you don't see very often. I have not seen some of these Definitely don't have any of these in my collection and I'm excited to get them all cleaned up, get them working, get them on display and just have some fun with them. So most 
most of these items were actually scored from a thrift store near me for just a dollar or so a piece. I couldn't pass up on these amazing deals. Some of these games I have not played, I have not had in the collection, and some of them have recently went up in price. So I got pretty lucky on a lot of these items here, and some of them just had some great bonus items included. So I could not pass these up, and some of these are just some great games that still hold up today. And then some of these items I actually scored from a coworker of mine. I got these all for amazing deals. I'm shocked that they still work after all of this time, and they're just in pretty great shape for being used back in the day. Some of these items from the 70s are just in pretty great shape for the time, and I'm just shocked that everything works and I didn't have to do anything to get these things up and running. They're just pretty awesome right here for the history of some of these handheld games, and these will look really great once I get them all cleaned up. I'm shocked that some of these aren't a bit more yellowed or in a lot worse shape than they are. So I'm just pretty excited on these. And then on to these DVDs that I picked up for less than a dollar each. And the one that even came with some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle extras. Definitely pretty sweet as we have all of the different colors right there. So I'll have to put those on display somewhere in my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collection. And I'm just really looking forward to actually going back watching some of these movies all over again you can watch these dvds and i even picked up along with the teenage Mutant ninja turtles i picked up some power ranger dvds as well so that'll definitely bring back so many great memories and all of the times that i remember playing with a lot of the toys growing up and having the figures as well so that is definitely a throwback right there so all together i'm just shocked that i scored these items and my coworker hooked me up on all of these items right here. Really looking forward to getting them cleaned up, restoring them back to their former glory, and spending some time trying to master some of these games. So of course, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more.